title of this talk, of course, um, was Finding a Sense of Belonging Through Photography. And when you look up the word belonging, um, it's often defined as a human emotional need to be an accepted and approved member of a group um, or to have an affinity to a place or situation. Um, people have this, they, they tend to have an inherent or intrinsic desire to belong um, and to be an important part of something greater than themselves. Um, we could say, for example, that I feel today like I belong to the Out of Chicago team as in, you know, the invitation to teach here today meant I was accepted into this, you know, inner circle of presenters. But part of the problem generally with thinking this way about belonging is that you're relying on an external source for acceptance. And often this means that if the person is seeking belonging, they, you know, you've got to conform, assimilate in order to fit in. And of course, that's not always a conscious process, but I kind of want to make the case for us all to be consciously considering what it actually means um, to belong. John O'Donoghue uh, was an Irish poet, um, author and philosopher. And in his book, Anamkara, he wrote, and I'm just gonna read it to you. Solitude is one of the most precious things in the human spirit. It is different from loneliness. When you are lonely, you become acutely conscious of your own separation. Solitude can be a homecoming to your own deepest belonging. And he goes on, it means that we cannot continue to seek outside ourselves for things we need from within. The blessings for which we hunger are not to be found in other places or people. These gifts can only be given to you by yourself. They are at home at the hearth of your soul. So when I talk about belonging as in the title of this presentation, this is really what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about finding your sense of belonging um, in online forums or Facebook groups, or even with a group of real life photography buddies. Um, and by the way, I'm not suggesting we shouldn't be doing some of those things too. Um, but, but here in this presentation, I'm talking about coming home to yourself, accepting yourself fully for who you are um, and learning to navigate that space between uh, entering your own solitude and coming into presence, which is where we share our thoughts and passions with others um, and expose some of our vulnerability to them. The craving we as humans have for community and connection through external validation means that searching for belonging, even at um, a subconscious level, can end up becoming a burden. And further, the emotions that this burden elicits means that you're less likely to bring your whole self to that place, whether it's a physical place or a situational one. Uh, and I think that's a problem when it comes to creative work. Creative work is personal. Um, it's a unique individual expression of your deepest self. It's a journey of self-discovery above all else. And photography is the vehicle that's taken me on my journey, not in a passive way, but in an active participatory way. Uh, and again, I wanna make the case that anyone can use the practices of photography in this way. So with respect to creative work, in terms of finding your own voice in your photography, uh, I wanna reframe the idea of belonging, belongingness um, away from this external validation, which um, is often about the end product, the photographic image, um, and towards instead coming home to our inner world um, through our photography practices. I wanted to speak also to the fact that looking inwards um, is not an exercise in self-indulgence. It's not about being centered in or being preoccupied by oneself. And it's definitely not about gratifying our own desires. Um, for me, I describe it as nurturing an ecological self. Um, the ecological self was a term first introduced by Arnie Ness who developed the theory of deep ecology as a philosophy of nature in the 1970s. Um, and applied here to photography, my interests lie in the narratives and the stories that occur at this threshold between the ego system, which is our egoistic and anthropocentric motivations focused on 
um, individual single species well-being um, and the ecosystem where we find wholeness in health and community. And the figurative landscapes we find at this threshold is where we really learn to listen deeply to other, um, where curiosity about other brings courage and where we discover the ability to hold multiple truths at once. Um, in other words, I like to say that we learn to see ecologically. So the deeper and more intentionally I pay attention to the world around me, um, the deeper I sense my own presence, my ecological self. Uh, this is where I find myself, my sense of belonging. And photography is an incredible way to do the paying attention part. 